Close your eyes, watch your breath. Try to stay with it all the way in, all the way out. It's this ability to stay that allows you to see things. If you just come for a little bit and then run off someplace else, then come back again later, you've missed a large part of the story. It's like walking through a room, seeing a TV set, looking for it for a few minutes, walking out, coming back half an hour later, looking at the rest of the program. You're not sure what happened in the meantime. You can guess. And that's what a lot of our lives are, just guesswork. So if you want to see something clearly, you've got to stay there. So here we want to learn how to see our own minds, because our minds spend most of their time in distraction, focusing on something else. And it's good to give the mind a chance to get to know itself as continuously as possible. Because that's when you begin to understand it, and so that its ideas don't surprise you, your actions don't surprise you. We shape our life through our intentions. Yet very few people, when they're asked about their intentions, why they did something, can really answer what the reason was. They were off someplace else. They had delegated responsibility to something else inside the mind, where their attention was diverted elsewhere. So they can't really say, why did you do this? They can go back and try to reconstruct things, but you're never really sure. There are lots of folds in your brain and lots of folds in your mind where things can hide. So you want to be right here while the decisions are being made, from the beginning to the end. So try to develop this quality of continuity so you really get to know yourself. When you know yourself well, then it's a lot easier to deal with the world. The world is full of a lot of unknowns, but you don't want your own mind to be an unknown. You want it to be something you know, something you trust. And so we do that by learning how to stay with it, watching over it, catching it when it does things that are not all that skillful, catching it when it's trying to hide things within its folds, straightening things out. And even though you can't get the folds out of your brain, you can get the folds out of your mind. So it's something that's trustworthy all the way through. That's when you can be really secure.